February is Black History Month, and we take this time to celebrate the achievements and historic contributions African American people have made in this country. Welcome back to uh, Living 757, everybody. Uh, now, Black History Month uh, in, in the 757, it crosses multiple generations. And I feel like if you're going to learn about it, you might as well do it with some wine, food, and shopping. Mm -hmm. Right, Patricia? Yes, <laughs> we'll okay. elaborate a little bit more on that. Uh, let's welcome Deanna King from Fruits and Roots Wine Tours. Welcome to Living 757, mm -hmm. Deanna. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to be here. How are you, Quincy? Good to see you again. I am doing great. Great to see you again. And uh, Deanna, show. <laughs> yeah, Deanna, I see that you're preparing for a pretty important anniversary celebration on the Hampton Roads Roots Wine Trail. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely. So uh, I started this business after dreaming uh, about Fruits and Roots one night. And uh, I wanted to bring uh, to our area and to our wonderful uh, Virginia wine industry something a little different that would allow our guests to experience Virginia wine, but not just Virginia wine. Yeah. Also to know a little bit about the little known historical facts about women and people of color who contributed to the founding of America. So we're sort of a Hamilton on wheels with wine and not just wine. Uh, we also have mm -hmm. tours that specialize in craft beer and uh, distilled spirits as well. And so for our anniversary tour, we're gonna combine all that. Uh, we're going to start with an African libation ceremony at Fort Monroe, where the sign of the first Africans arriving in 1619 is. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to travel from there to the new uh, first Black-owned brewery in Hampton Roads, 1865 Brewery, and we have a, a private tasting there. Uh, from then on to Mango Mango, uh, some of you may be familiar with them from the uh, Shark Tank history and yes. <laughs> delicious uh, Creole cuisine. Uh, we'll also have a wine tasting by Gwen Hurt. Uh, this is a Black woman-owned business out of Chesterfield, Virginia called Shoe Crazy Wine. Has an amazing peach mango uh, sparkling that we make our signature mimosas from, mm. uh, among other varietals. Uh, after lunch, we're going to travel out to the historic uh, Surrey County, Isle of Wight County, where most people don't know had the largest population of free persons of color just before the Civil War. Wow. And we're going to visit uh, Summer Wind Winery, uh, Hampton Roads Winery, and also uh, Blue Sky Distillery. So exciting day, yeah. um, Pat. <laughs> with uh, history, shopping at all the venues, obviously delicious food and wines as well. Nice. Yes, you just mentioned the three, the three things that I most love. Shopping is my thing, I love food and I love wine. And you just uh, walk us through for a little bit all the things that people's gonna expect. If they're gonna have any shows, any presentations also, Yes, absolutely. We have historical actors on our tours portraying different historical figures that actually existed during revolutionary times in our area. Um, many people may not know this uh, if you didn't see the show Finding Your Roots, but we have some very famous people from this area that were um, people of color. So, uh, for example, we have Billy Flora, the hero of the Battle of Great Bridge in Chesapeake. Uh, we even have Queen Latifah's five times great grandmother being born in Princess Anne. So um, quite a, a few different varieties of the types of facts. And we have people performing. We'll have someone lead us in the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Oh, yeah. We're at our African Libation Ceremony, for example. Wow. Um, we also have different videos that we play that teach people about wine education, sort of wine 101. Take away the mystery, demystify uh, drinking wine, ordering wine, pairing wine, uh, or other uh, spirits in our wonderful state of Virginia. So yeah. these are some of the pictures here you'll see of people enjoying it. That's yeah. Richard Thomas from the Waltons right there. Right. No. Deanna, you were talking about, you know, drinking and, you, you know, enjoying wine, but you also mentioned the brewery. Um, how yes. cool is that to incorporate the, uh, you know, Hampton Roads first black owned brewery? Yes, I love having the opportunity to do that, um, to not only, you know, talk about and show what we did in the past to contribute to our nation, but what we're doing right now in contemporary America. Awesome. 
Nice. Thank oh, you. So much. Well, thank you so much, Diana. This is a great information. And if you guys need want to find more information, you can visit our blog at seven five living seven five seven, or just follow those links that uh, we just shared with you from Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much, Diana. Thank you. Thank you.